To make creme patisserie, you need to have two egg yolks, 75 grams of caster sugar, 30 grams of plain flour, and 20 grams of corn flour, 350 milliliters of milk, and five mils, that's a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The first step in making creme patisserie, you need to put the two egg yolks into a bowl, a large mixing bowl, with the caster sugar. And whisk until they are pale and thick. You can see that the mixture has gone much paler. It started off um, thick and lumpy, but very yellow, and it's now gone very pale and is more like a whipped cream. It's more like whipped cream in consistency. It's like a thick paste. Once whisked and thick enough, light and thick, you need to add the flour and whisking the flour, the corn flour and four tablespoons of the measured milk. setting to avoid the flour becoming airborne as dust. You whisk that until it becomes a smooth paste. The flour and corn flour are going to act as a thickening agent in addition to the egg yolks. The egg yolks are going to thicken by denaturation, the impact of heat on the egg yolk and the um, flour will gelatinize once the liquid, the milk that's added, um, reaches a certain temperature, it will actually be absorbed into the flour grains that will cause them to swell and burst and then at the right temperature that will then gelatinize and thicken the liquid. So the next step is actually going to be to add the rest of the milk to that mixture and to stir it in. You don't really need to necessarily whisk it at this point, you just need to stir it. Now it looks very runny at this stage, but it will need to thicken and heat will be necessary for that. When adding flour and corn flour, to a liquid to thicken it, you always, always make a paste with it. You don't ever add flour or corn flour to a hot liquid. So it's always added to a cold liquid and then after that then the liquid is heated and brought to the boil. The mixture is transferred to a saucepan and then Put on a low heat you need to stir this on a low heat all the time whilst you try to bring it to the boil remember to hold the saucepan handle as you go so that you've got more control over the pan you can stir it with a spoon but I do have whisks to hand because once it starts to thicken I prefer to switch to a whisk because it gives me better control of the mixture as it's as it's starting to gelatinize. At the moment we whilst the liquid is heating up the starch grains within both the corn flour and the plain flour start to absorb some of the moisture some of the milk and then once they reach a certain temperature they will then burst and thicken the liquid 
but that needs to be at about 80 degrees C. So you need to bring it to the boil, but you bring it to the boil gradually, remembering that the egg yolk will thicken at a much lower, it will set and denature and coagulate at a much lower temperature to the gelatinization that's going on with the starch. So you're trying to balance it all and make sure that you don't scramble your egg. As you feel it start to thicken, you have to keep stirring, making sure that you're going across the base of the pan to make sure that it doesn't start to catch because it will easily burn. And just keep stirring. I've switched to a whisk now because I believe I have better control and it will actually whisk the mixture quite nicely together to avoid any lumps. Now you can see it's starting to thicken. Okay, starting to thicken, keep stirring all the time, otherwise it will go lumpy. And it really does start to suddenly thicken. You want to cook that for two minutes once it's boiled. Turn the heat down to a low, really low setting and just keep stirring. You can see it's quite thick. And it's that last heating when it was bubbling, it started to bubble and then suddenly started to thicken. Once that's finished, you add the vanilla and stir that in. Take that off the heat. Just put it on my marble top. You'll need a pan stand to protect your worktop. And add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and give that a really good stir in. Okay, that gets that nicely flavoured and at this point then you've got a nice smooth custard which is what creme patisserie is, it's like a nice sweet confectioner's custard. You need to transfer that into a bowl, you transfer that into a bowl so that it cools down quicker and when cool can go in the fridge you're not using it straight away. This can be used as a filling as an alternative to whipped cream when making eclairs or profiteroles. You can see it's quite thick. And you just cover that with some baking parchment and that will stop that from forming a skin. Um, that needs to be allowed to cool before you can put it in the fridge. You cannot put that in the fridge at this precise moment in time because it's too hot. And if you put hot things in the fridge, all it does is raise the internal temperature of your fridge and affect the other food, putting it at risk because the fruit fridge will become too warm. So once it's cooled, you can put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it.